Lift off will start in T minus 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition. That uh, none of us surf as good as we think we do, can they all surf better? Hey, if you guys that just got your ultimate sub showdown hats, Maddie Schweitzer would love to take a picture of you guys. And I think he just went to grab like two or three more. So Maddie just went to grab a couple more. So one's coming for you, Brody. So yeah, one's coming. So be ready. And the girls are ready. Holy crap, it's cold up there. Yeah, Kai McPhillips in blue coming in. Kai, well done, well done, buddy. Give us a little fist pump, Kai. There you go. Hey, how was that nine you got earlier? <laughs> Did he just say he wanted the nine in that heat? <laughs> Could he use it this time? <laughs> Izzy Gomez rocking her performance paddling competition team sweatshirt. Yeah, Izzy. And first up and riding, that's Fiona Wild from Hood River, Oregon. Fiona with a couple of turns, getting her campaign started. And we have a split of the peak, Brent. Uh, we do, and I looked at the wrong heat on the sheet when I named names earlier. So sorry about that. <laughs> Let's redo it. Well, while we're waiting, we got Sasha out the back on a bomb. Look at her eyeing the end section right there and decides to go around. Maybe a smart maneuver, but in pink, Vanina Wall still milking that one all the way to the beat. So our defending champion, the current holder of El Sombrero, opening up her score line with a very nice ride. Yeah, I think she stepped on a sandcastle at the end of that one. That's how far that went. What's she looking for? Wait. All right, so let's do a new heat announcement back, since I got every single name he's wrong. He's, he's coming back. So, okay. In pink, we've got Vivian Walsh. In white, we've got Mason Schremer. In yellow, we've got Fiona Wild. And in blue, Sasha. Can't pronounce your last name, so we're going with Sasha. That's okay. You don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to. I'm going to get you a hat, Steely. Okay, buddy? So I'm just... Looking for Matty Schweitzer, waiting for him to come back for you guys. So, first score, Vanina Walsh, first wave, 1.4. That wasn't the one you just got, though. So, first for Vanina, 1.4. Your second wave just locked in, 7.33. Surfer in pink, you have a 7.33 and a 1.4. Surfer in white, Mason Schremer, your first wave, 2.50. Surfer in yellow, Fiona Wild, your first wave, 3.83. And Sasha in blue, your first wave, 3.50. So as you can see, we have a very tight heat right now. Vanina Walsh opening up a, with a 7.33, so she is currently in the lead. And second place is Fiona with a one-wave score. And uh, we'll wait for the girls to get their second waves. Oh, did I say white? I meant pink. Right, sorry about that. <laughs> so that is Surfer in Pink paddling back out on the left side. Vanina Walsh, our reigning champion of the Women's Junior Pro. Vanina, a very accomplished stand-up paddle surfer, longboard, shortboard, and racer as well, as, are, as is Fiona Wild. Mason Schremer at 13 years old. She is the oldest. We saw three Schremer girls competing today. And Fiona Wild out there. And Sasha is way down the beach there. If I were Sasha, I would go in and run down. If I were Sasha right now, I would take this wave in and run down to the beach 
and paddle out in front of the stage. If I were Sasha right now, I would paddle in and catch a wave in and run down this way because you're going to have to fight the wind. So um, maybe somebody else could run down towards Sasha and tell her what, what we would do if we were her because I don't think she can hear us down there. Maybe a, a parent type person could do that, possibly. Maybe? Just this one time? Hello. I know, I saw you, and I'm going to ask you girls a couple questions because we have some uh, really cool kids up here who picked up twice their weight in trash as we see the girls taking a couple on the head so with this wind not only do we have the wind going from kind of north to south but also the current on the inside it's uh it's pretty strong so it's if you if you kind of get in, caught inside and even Vanina Vanina you know surfed a nice wave and is you know surfs big waves but Sometimes the waves just don't let you out, you know? Yeah, I mean, these girls are definitely paying for these waves. It's a long, tough paddle out at this point. And, uh, hang on. Yeah, I mean, sometimes the easiest option is uh, grab your board and go for a run. Um, that looks like that's exactly what Sasha's doing now. Looks like somebody got down to her and told her what Anthony would do if Anthony was a small girl in a surf contest. It looks like Avalon Gall down there. Avalon was in a dance competition, so she actually missed her surf heat. But she's down here coaching her friend Sasha. That's really cool to see. So good to see you, Avalon. Ray's down there. Heat update, Fiona Wild, your second wave, 2.07. You are in second place. Fiona, second place. Third is Sasha with your one wave of a 3.5. Mason, your one wave score of a 2.5. You are currently in fourth. So Vanina with a... Opened up a pretty good lead. Oh, oh, she is. My friends in the announcer booth are telling me, they said, Mason's actually my friend. So that's really cool. Mason's got some friends and supporters, as does Sasha down there. Fiona's got friends, too. Everyone does. Brent's enjoying a good Anya bar. Mmm. Chocolate and peanut butter. What can be better? Okay, the dumbest thing we did all day was give all of our bars away to the kids. We yeah. could have took these two boxes home with us and been so stoked later. I'm kind of sad right now. Yeah, I'm really sad. <laughs> if the good Anya bar people are here, Brent and I really love the good Anya bars. And hint, we'll, hint. We'll say your name a couple more times on the microphone, which is hooked up to the speakers, which are turned up pretty loud. And, uh, you know, maybe maybe we could hooked up with a couple boxes of the bars because we said your name a bunch of times. And I used to live in Australia, and I like it when people say good on ya. I also like, uh, there's a few sayings that I still say. Like, instead of how are you doing, how you going? So I still kind of say that one. I don't say mate. I just go, yeah, how you going? I, I like the bee's knees because it just makes me think of a bee and his knees, which is kind of funny. And you're kind of funny. Well, looks aren't everything. I just took a really cool <laughs> mental picture of the two photographers, Harry Wywell and Jerry Jer Jeremio down there. But also, another cool picture I just took was Ridge Lenny talking with his coach, Chuck Patterson, one of his coaches. So Ridge Lenny winning both of his heats so far, waiting the semifinal. So after we finish the second women's semifinal, we're going to take a break. We are going to introduce the finalists, and then we will get them back out in the water in white, Mason Schremer. Oh, private stash. Yes. Oh, Bill Maloney going into his private good on your bar stash for Brett and I. So big thanks to Bill Maloney and son Ryan was out there ripping. Writing for BoardWorks and Infinity. 
Yes, during the break, Dan Hughes will be boosting humongous airs. Wait, hold on. You can go catch a few if you bring us more good on you bars. <laughs> Boom. And that's how you work a deal, folks. What's the clock say? How much time? Eight. Oh, you got more? Oh. Hey, this guy, Steel especially right here, was waiting patiently for one. Come on, Doc. Hey, um, can you announce everybody's name? Teddy, you're down there in front of the stage. Uh, they have been helping out all day. They are the, the Schweitzer family stars of the Stand Up for the Cure event. So Zane is down there giving out some Ultimate Sup Showdown hats. You can have it signed by Zane. If you need a Sharpie, let me know. There's Mason Stremmer in white. Yeah, dropping into a nice little insider right-hander. And uh, looks like it's going to hit a little bit of a sandbar and hopefully stand up for it. It's got a couple little waves flowing across the side of it. But uh, here comes a little steeper section where she's going to be able to generate some, some speed, get into the open face. Nice little tail drift turn right there. Bangs it back into the whitewash. And, uh, yeah, pretty good little wave for her. Fiona Wild, your last wave, 3.47. To go with your 3.83, you're still in second. Fiona, you need a 5.01 to take over the lead. Vanina, your last wave, 1.5. That bettered your 1.4. So Vanina with a high scoring, 7.33. She's still looking for a solid backup score. And Mason Schremer, you just locked in a 4.0 to go with your 2.5. Mason, you need a you need a 3.3 in order to move into second place. Oh, what a great redirect. Drops in right, hits the hits it, fades left, turns it into left, throws a couple left hand wraps and a little whack to top it off. That was a that was an excellent takeoff right there. I mean, that was textbook. You know, the, the left just really wasn't ready to roll yet. So she fades it right, bashes one off the, the foam on the, on the right, drops in, goes left, and just continues just to tear the top off of it. I think it might have been the board. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Nah, it's the rider. Come on. We all know that. I think so. So, girls, second semifinals, Izzy Gomez in pink, Natalia Smith in white, Laura Clayton in yellow, and the lone Californian, Kalia Alexio, representing in blue. So, girls, paddle out whenever you'd like. Five minutes for 20 seconds. Five minutes, 20 seconds left in this heat. Our first of two semifinals. There you see Mason Schremer making the run down the beach. And Vanina Walsh in pink, looking to casually drop in, but fighting that rip current that's been there all day. Yeah, that rip, that wind, that bump makes catching waves pretty difficult. And these girls were good. So, you know, if they're having trouble catching waves, I don't stand a chance. Five minutes left, ladies. Five minutes left. Uh, so next seat, you can start making your way out and just try to steer clear and not be in the way. So I want to thank Mother Nature and Bolsa Chica for after we watched Fiona Wild on this one. It's a little tricky out there right now with the conditions. We got a hat back. I got a hat back. Yeah, Carvin charging, Marvin. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Thank you. So charging Marvin made me put on the ultimate step down shot. And when charging Marvin says something, you do it. You do it. You don't say no. And you look good with two hats and some headphones on. I mean, not a whole lot of people can pull that off, but you, you're really, you're really working that, man. Thank you. Thank you. I try. I try. So Fiona kind of off to uh, looking at those rights down there and dealing with that chop very nicely on a bigger wave in this in this heat. Kind of tried to go through that section. Vanina going off the top on that one, coming unstuck. Just 
So the age group SUP surfers, they're competing for pr some really cool prizes. The junior pros, they're competing for not only some really cool sombreros, but really cool cash. I heard there's some cash going down. $1,000 for first. Wow. $750 for Dang. second. 5 hundred for third. Boom. $350 for fourth place. You make oh, the finals, yeah. you're guaranteed at least $350. Unbelievable. That's better money than in a lot of the, uh, you know, full-size pro competitions. By yes. full-size, I mean big people. Yeah, you know, Brent, and there's a lot of mathematical reasons and all these different ways where you can say, oh, well, the girls should make less and blah, 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 blah. But forget the math. Forget the percentages. Forget all that. All you need to have is a little bit of forward thinking and look at sports like tennis where all four majors the men and women get equal money even though the women only play you know oh well the women only play five sets in three three or however it goes it's not about that it's about just being fair and what's doing what's best for the sport and that's what we're trying to do here i think that's a fantastic game plan and to be honest i'm terrible at math so it seems a lot easier hey let's just give everybody the same amount of money well and, and they earned it i mean they're surfing the same waves they're battling the same conditions. The airlines charge them the same <laughs> fees for their boards. <laughs> yeah, when's the last time you got to go up there and ask for a, a smaller bag fee? Because I'm a girl. Oh, do I get a, a discount on my plane seat? No, you don't. And then try to explain, no, you see, because in the contest, I don't win as much money, so I can't pay as much money for the board on the plane. No, it doesn't work. Fiona Wild with a nice, oh. nice top turn right there. Look at eyeing the section. Oh, Fiona on her backhand. Getting aggressive, we got our screen back up, so I'm going to give you updates right now. Benina Wall still in first. Fiona Wild still in second. Mason Schremer just got back out after her high heat score of a 4.0. Mason, you need a 4.34 to move into second. Mason, you need a 4.34 to move into second place. So Mason needs the highest score of this heat for her. And uh, I think she can do it. It's doable. Definitely doable. If yeah. you believe it, you can achieve it. Yes, sir. You're the man. I was just seeing who's back there. Get away from down there. If I had a mixing tape on, just, you know, Did you get one of these? Okay. Oh. Oh, look at the uh, the sneaky southerly right hand sandbar. Rips one off the top, reforms. Oh, this look at this little reform. Look at this reform right at the buzzer, and that's when you need it. Still milking it. Gonna bring this one all the way to the sand. She's smashing sandcastles with this one. So that finishes our first semifinal for the women's junior pro. Uh, just to recap, first place, Vanina Walsh. She started off with that early wave of a 7.33. Vanina, last score, 5.43. So, Vanina, your last wave was a 5.43. Second place was Fiona Wild advancing. And in third place, barely missing out.